What's up guys, I'm Kyle. Today we're talking about Porsche and Mitsubishi, but before we start, I just want to say, if you hear background noise, I'm sorry. The neighbors on this side are being super loud. The neighbors on that side are mowing their lawn. I can't do anything about it, so let's just get into it. So Porsche has unveiled the all new 911 GT2 RS at the E3 conference. Now if you don't know what E3 is, it's a big convention where video game companies like Nintendo, Sony, Microsoft, they all get together and they put together these big presentations to show off their new games. Well, some of those games are car games, and uh, Microsoft has announced that the GT2 RS is the cover car for Forza 7. So Microsoft did a double unveiling where they showed the new Forza Motorsport 7, and they unveiled the new GT2 RS. So the GT2 RS is sort of the halo car of the 911 range. It's the hardcore focus track version of the Turbo S. So it's sort of harder, faster, more, and it only gets rear-wheel drive instead of four-wheel drive. So looking at the car at the press conference there, the new RS is going to set itself apart from the other 911 models by being lower, wider, and uglier. I mean, seriously, what were they thinking with that front end? It looks like a cheap body kit from Need for Speed Underground, and whatever's going on with that hood is not any better. Luckily, not many people are going to see the front of it because this thing is really, really fast. They've reworked the 3.8 Turbo Flat 6 from the Turbo S, and now it's got stronger internals, titanium exhaust, bigger turbos, and more boost. Now Porsche hasn't released any official power numbers, but we do know that with the help of water injection, it's going to make more than 640 horsepower, and that's going to go through a PDK transmission to the rear wheels. So that combined with a curb weight of under 3,300 pounds, it should be able to do 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds. Let me say that again, this is a rear wheel drive car, doing 0 to 60 in under 3 seconds. That of course will come with a very large price tag. Uh, they haven't released any numbers yet, but Porsche has also released the 911 Turbo S Exclusive Edition in the past weeks, and that is now up for sale at just under $300,000 Canadian. So I would expect that this new GT2 RS would be as much or more than that. So if you want to go fast, I guess you got to have deep pockets. Next up, we have Mitsubishi. So as we all know, the Evo 10 has been cancelled, and Mitsubishi has no plans for another Lancer. Instead, they're changing their focus more towards crossovers and SUVs to stay competitive within the market. Now, this sucks, but they kind of had to do something. All of their cars are really old. They don't have any new technology. They don't have anything new coming out. Um, they really had to do something to stay competitive within the market, and crossovers and SUVs are booming right now. Nobody seems to want to buy cars, so it really only makes sense for them to do that. Now, this decision sort of made it look like there was never going to be another Evo, but now we have words saying otherwise. Mitsubishi has said that they plan on building another Evo, although not based on a car, this time based on a crossover, and they've even hinted at a return to racing as well. Now, if a high-tech hybrid crossover doesn't get the juices flowing, I don't really blame you. But let me just remind you of what Mitsubishi has done in the past with crossovers. The Dakar Rally is a 10,000 kilometer race through South America that's so grueling, usually only about half of the contestants even finish. Now, Mitsubishi really hasn't done any racing in the last 10 years or so, but from 1992 to 2007, Mitsubishi won 11 out of 16 Dakar rallies. They definitely know what they're doing when it comes to rally cars, so when Mitsubishi tells me that they're going to be building an Evo based on a crossover, I'm not thinking Nismo Juke, I'm thinking more tiny Ford Raptor, and I think that's pretty exciting. The bad news is it won't be coming out until 2023, and the vehicle it's based on is not even released yet, so we have absolutely no idea what it's going to look like. But I guess with that long of a wait, you've got plenty of time to start saving your pennies and save up for one. That's all for today. Thanks for watching. I know it's been quite a while since my last video. I'm hoping I can get the next one out in sooner than three weeks. Uh, check me out on Instagram. I'll see you next time.